In this video, I want to show you how you can change any text on your website, including the checkout button that we have right here at the place order. Let's say you want to change it to something else and I've got exactly the plugin for you. So let's dive right in. When you're in your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to plugins, add new, and let's head over to popular. And right over here, if you scroll a little down, you'll be able to see that there is a plugin that's called Loco Translate. You would need to install this plugin and activate it. When you're here in your plugins page, what you wanna do is head over and go over here into the Loco Translate and head over to plugins. Head over to the WooCommerce plugin and right over here, you can translate into which language that you want to. Currently right now I have French, Russian and Hebrew. Let's say I wanna change what it says in the English version. So what I wanna do is head over and click new language and let's head over here under the WordPress language Language. let's choose over here English United States and choose the custom not system or author and press the start translating button as you might be able to see over here it will redirect you to a new page where you can see all those strings in the English version the next thing that you want to do is head over to the search box right over here and search for place order place order as you may be able to see over here there are a few options but as you can see there are two options so we wanna check this first. So let's say I wanna change the text that says place order to something a little more secure for my clients. Let's say continue to secure payment. So let's do that. Continue to secure, secure payment. The next thing you want to do is head over and press save and then sync. Good. Let's head over back to our checkout over right over here and let's hit refresh. As you might be able to see over here, you can see that our button has been changed. Continue to secure payment and the same exact method applies to anything on your website. Let's say, for example, you want to change something else. So let's head over back to our editing for our WooCommerce and let's head over and change the text. For example, I want to change the uh, product, product, product. And right over here, I have different strings of product, as you can see, what if I have a product, let's say I want to change it and I'm selling only shirts on my website. So I can say shirt and the same thing applies. You hit save and then you hit sync and it will sync everything across your website. Again, this is a very, very, very basic thing that I've just demonstrated and it will be applied to anything if you want to translate different strings on your website or you want to translate your website to a different language. Let's say, for example, you're not using Polylang and if you missed this video on the channel, it will be popping up right now in one of the corners of the video. So you'll be able to see that Loco Translate or this exact plugin will help you to translate more strings and it works exactly together with Polylang so it doesn't conflict one with another. So that's one good thing that there is. Yeah, that concludes this tutorial and if you would like to see See more on WooCommerce, Elementor or WordPress, please leave your comments down in a section below and I'll be really glad to read your comments and to do my very best to do or answer any questions that you have. And if I'll be able to do a video on it, it would be even better. If that video helped you, I'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any videos that I post on this channel. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.